actually running two weeks late with those bluebells. Now, the reason that Britain is just a joke for nearly 20 years I've been attuned. Oh, better hide this stuff. It's my work. What's that? Oh, that's. <laughs> oh, well. We have our handkerchief there. Oh, I haven't put that video up there. See, if you're a tramp, if. A really posh person came along who seemed to have good body language at ease in the countryside but was wearing 300 pound Dewberry boots and we had a chat and they had <coughs> more often than not she had 50 acres over the hill there and I tested her are you pro EU because I will only work for pro-EU people, even though it's finished and I'm leaving Britain. Um, you test them, you test them, because they've all become so precious. So if I, Well, actually, I do know two or three of them that pr completely prove the point, but they're always over 60. By the time they get to 60, my friend Doreen, she came by this morning. Uh, she's 65, no, nearly 70. Had a farm, and she speaks it like it is, even telling me about her lover, a recent, well, recent-ish development in her life, but he died. Yeah, so, test them. And if it seems like, well, you can't do this, if you want to be their slave and rebuild their fences, their rotting, badly hung gates. They've all got badly hung gates. These are my favorite farmer. I might get this out and do a bit of that. And they think, ah, you may be in what my friend calls a pikey van, but you're clearly not a drug addict. Um, anyway, I've done films on that. This is about simplification, getting through their prejudices and foibles, which have got so much worse since 2020. I don't care. Why did I turn this on? Oh, I know. Ooh, better not have that showing us on my bank login, except it's in a code. You can't trust anything. Right, quickly, quickly, quickly. Yeah, for 20 years I've been very much involved, or I kind of gave up, partly gave up, in the uh, genuine, actual, real <coughs> psychological health world for families and parents and whatever. And I'm an expert in actual mind, body, soul, not the made up hocus pocus version. Any farmer knows that their stock, if brought up in stressful conditions, which can just be noise, like near a, a medium sized road, the offspring of the stock will be smaller for life, and more nervy, etc. So you see, you have all your flipping new age queens who've taken over around here and they're just all funny thing is deep down they're so desperate now customers money i'm meant to be sitting up i hate having i do not have a double chin anyway why did i mention them yeah i know why uh, i have listened to this and it got so much worse in 2020 people i know well and work for using their Facebook to preach their mindfulness, their... <coughs> oh, for God's sake. Okay. And then the environmentalists. So your bossocracy of health. Well, they aren't talking about health, but a lot of them. The whole damn industry that... I won't speak to anybody in Britain now because um, everybody goes on about their body, their health. And it's all just almost all of it bullshit unless you do good food obviously lots and lots of quite strenuous exercise in my case that's walking and, and I'm not quite up at the right exercise level again because I've been busy doing certain slight rescue missions but also particularly in Britain particularly after we have had a genuinely colder than average winter 
When the sun's like this, you take your work outside. This is work. That's writing. That's on the sublime. I'm good on the sublime. Take your work outside. I've been sitting, sitting here since 8.30 in the morning. The door is there. The vehicle's positioned such that the wind is northerly today, up that direction. Um, so it provides a little bit of shelter. And it's been absolutely great. Absolutely paradise. Charge up with some UV, particularly. And, you know, the environmentalists, They, if they just said, hey, all you people, rather than, than sneering and, like, basically deriding, which never works. Hey, people. Okay. Look at him. Okay. I haven't been on a flight for, um, I've been on one flight in, oh, flipping heck. Is it 2005? Yeah, in 18... Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, it is. One flight in 18 years. I always have a good time by May. Always. This year, not so good. Because I arrange my time. The environmentalist should be preaching. Hey, if you're a conceited sunshine addict, which um, actually does override... Uh, the small possibility of increased cancers does, and I've been in Saudi Arabia with no hat on in midday, a lot, well, enough, uh, in my teens due to a family connection. Anyway, get yourself out in the British, particularly sort of April sun, recharges you, and then you'll also have a nice colour, so you don't have to go abroad, if you use this thing we've had for decades. And, okay, the BBC always exaggerate, always, the warnings. Always. Often they'll be forecasting a whole day of heavy rain when actually it's only two hours. But it's there. I know that today and tomorrow are really nice sunny days. Organise my work. This is work. Doing my very last slight social work slight rescue case of somebody very last nobody can read nobody can listen with an above average intelligence person and i know that wednesday and thursday are also going to be like this organize your work so that you out getting this super immunity system boosting all sorts of other systems boosting natural free remedy there you go no no green can say this no medical person can say this in britain i know because i've been monitoring both very very carefully for 20 years not because i have any concerns about me i ignore almost all medical things and guess what if you have those three strategies your body your natural immunity your systems some of which we don't understand even, but there's one undoubtable question. They are not damaged by UV because we are a species that evolved. Now, you can say that we evolved in the, the, the I can't remember, Mary Midge, is it? Uh, blah, 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 blah. We evolved in the wooded areas of, the, of, of Africa. That's irrelevant because I can tell you for a fact, if you live somewhere that's, um, unless it's very hot, uh, 10,000 years ago here, or 12,000 after the ice, or actually 11,700 after the ice retreated, if there was a tribe here, I can guarantee you, in February, March, even if they lived in the woodland, they would be out getting as much sun as possible. They would move their whole life out into a clearing where they're getting natural sunshine. Just to warm up, you feel so much more energetic, particularly after a tough winter. We have evolved to have quite a high level of UV, which means, and infrared, which means our systems, all of them, including those we don't yet understand, and there are plenty, are optimised to perform at their best, particularly in the spring, when you're coming out of what Stone Age man would have had, which is a sort of semi-hibernation state almost, or oh, certainly a lot of time locked away in the cave. Your systems are evolved. They're optimised to the early spring sunshine, particularly to boost them up and sort your bodily issues out. But no, no.
cosmetic or green. Certainly mindfulness practitioner or any kind of wellness practitioner ever says this. Because A, they're all thinking, oh, well, if I expand a bit and end up with an employee or two, uh, I have to be risk averse because I'll be having an insurance policy that um, is, at the end of the day, almost always rooted in American attitudes. And it will be, oh, no, no, sunshine gives immediate life-threatening cancer. So they can't even recommend that. Some may a bit, but they don't emphasise it. And more importantly, they don't make any money out of it. <laughs> there we go.